I'll spare you guys the alarm this time. Okay, y'all. Barely got ready. Let's get the hell out of here. Into the cold. I'll put this out. This is breakfast. This is for later. These two are. I don't know why I carry these two. And it's raining and it's cold. And we're out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Med Bros channel. Sorry we haven't been posting for about a month now. Both me and Chapman started our rotations. Well, he started his rotations. I'm starting my general surgery rotation, which is the mother of all rotations. So basically we've been tied up with that and it's been hard to sit down and make some videos, but, but now that I'm a couple weeks in, I feel like I got the hang of surgery and I feel comfortable enough to grab the camera and bring you guys along for a day of surgery rotation and show you guys why I haven't been posting. Basically, the days are 3 a.m. I usually wake up, so today we got up a little later at 4 a.m. Uh, because I believe our list, which is our list of patients, is a little shorter. I should tip you off, it says that this person might have colorful cancer. If you see iron deficiency anemia. Ah. I'm here at the hospital. There's not a lot of people, so it makes it easy to vlog. Okay guys, we finally made it to the hospital and it's 516. The plan now is to run the residents list, which is a list of all their patients and what I'm gonna do is look up their vitals, look up any labs, any you know imaging, any updates since they last saw these patients and just try to keep the residents updated. And then after that, I usually take two or three patients myself and uh, try to round on them and, and see how they're doing and give a presentation. So that's the plan, run the list, go round with the residents, and then we finally get into the surgeries. Breakfast. Now, I'm gonna go see one of these patients that I looked into and researched, and we're gonna go check on them, do a little history and physical. The kind of things you wanna look out for are if they're eating, if they're going to the bathroom, if they're walking, um, if their wound looks clean, things like that. You want to make sure you're on top of it. Those are the main things to look for um, status post-surgery. So I'm done rounding on those patients with my residents and they're off to do their own little thing and I was sent on an assignment to go read up about a lot of procedures that I'm going to go ahead and present to them later today. So I am stationed right here. So I'm the only one here in the library, usually like this every morning, because nobody is insane enough except the surgery team to come in this early, especially not to the library, which is already empty. So I just get any chance I can to sit down uh, before I'm standing for four hours and then get a little like 10 minute break. And sometimes it's just four hours, four hours surgeries back to back. So favorite part of the library? No. Okay, so we're done presenting and presentations went great, but sent on a few errands out in the rain to run to the other side of the building, so not too happy about that. But. So I just got called back up to the residence lounge and they want me to see this specific patient and uh, look him up and make sure I know everything about him because I'm gonna go do a consult on him. When a patient comes in, the internist admits them and they work them up and they might think that the patient needs surgery. So what the surgery team does is they go down there and look at the patient and see what kind of condition they're in. And they see if he's a candidate for surgery and if uh, we're gonna operate on him. So apparently I'm gonna be doing the consult on this patient and I am gonna try to tell my residents whether this individual needs surgery or not. And I feel like I might have a good idea what's going on with this patient, but, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get roasted when I say, yo, we need to operate on this guy.
So you guys might recognize this room from my OB Guy vlog. So we're back in here because we are changing into the hospital scrubs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready for surgery. So the first surgery is at 7.30, I think, and it's a lap coli. So what a lap coli is, is you make these tiny little incisions in the abdomen, and then you inflate the abdomen with CO2. And that gives you enough room to work with in there. And then you can insert graspers, you can insert cameras, you can basically play around through those little holes so you don't have to open somebody all the way up. And specifically, you do it to take out the gallbladder. So we're gonna be taking out someone's gallbladder today and I was excited for the first couple of these, but this is like my sixth one. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh... all right, we're all changed because they require us to wear their scrubs. I already miss my big scrubs, but <laughs> let's go get into the surgery. So, done with that coli, went as planned, no complications or anything like that, so it was pretty smooth. And now I'm going to get a bite to eat before the next one. We are probably not supposed to be in here as students, this is a doctor's lounge, but uh, but the seats are really comfortable and there's nobody in here, so you know I'm going to be in here. The food is pretty good today. We got fried chicken, some mashed potatoes, and some macaroni, and I got some green stuff because you know, you got to have your vegetables as well. Surgery number two, done. Let's go to the third one. So I just walked by here and there was this meeting going on downstairs that all the students were at and I just realized I paid for lunch when it was free downstairs. So <laughs> that, that is a big no-no. <laughs> Definitely feel sad about that. So one of the things about staying hours and hours at the hospital is scoping out the places to hang out in your downtime. And this is one of those rooms. There's a bunch of sofas everywhere. It's quiet. It's just a place to get away after you do four surgeries in a row. We've been on our feet for a little while now. Uh, we went into a lap coli and then we did a lumpectomy, taking out a, a lump in a woman's breast. And then we did two abdominal hernia repairs and one of them was using a robot, which is pretty interesting. Uh, some of them are pretty complicated and you can use this robot with these really precise arms to get in there and go ahead and do that. So that was really cool. Um, so we've been on our feet for a while now and we have a couple more surgeries left and there's one that I'm optionally gonna stay for to hang out with a GI doctor because he takes his time, he explains stuff and I am interested in GI so it's a big help and that one's gonna be an endoscopic ultrasound. So it's exactly what it sounds like. Done. And uh, just catching my my breath here. Legs are hurting a little bit. I'm gonna get changed and get the heck out of the hospital. <sighs> Let's go. So it's that part of the rotation where the days start blending together. You don't know what's going on. Things are a little hazy. I'm tired as hell, so. So I ran home and got changed and my friend needed help moving because he's moving to a new place. So headed over there to help him move. And uh, hence we have this futon that we're lugging around. So I think the time is 8.30 right now. Doesn't leave too much time to sleep after this, but. So I'm finally back at home and I'm feeling really tired and it's only a few hours until I gotta do it all over again. Like, let me see what time it is. Almost nine o'clock, it's 8.50. I gotta wake up again at three. Overall, I'm enjoying uh, surgery rotation aside from the lack of sleep. Uh, I think surgery would be on top of my list of specialties that I wanna do if it was for uh, a little bit of lifestyle modifications. Like, if there was more time for yourself and if there was more time for sleep, which is um, something I'm a huge fan of. And 
Uh, for example, since surgery started, for sure I have not been going to the gym, not been eating right, as you guys can clearly see. So the residents I've been working with have been pretty nice. All the surgeons have been pretty nice. Um, not really, not really living up to that surgeon stereotype, which is great. So even though I'm getting a lack of sleep, I'm dreaming a lot. And what am I dreaming about? I'm dreaming about surgeries, being back in there. And it's kind of horrifying. Some, some nights I'm just like, why? And I wake up and be like, shit, like I just dreamt about this. Now I have to go do it again. So it does get kind of weird. But yeah, overall, hopefully you guys have seen now why I haven't been posting. Instagram, I haven't been posting too much. Uh, make sure you guys follow there if you're not. Um, I definitely am posting stories though. I'm not posting things like on my page, but I'm posting on stories. So, so to keep up to that, so to keep up to date with that, make sure you guys follow on that. Make sure you guys subscribe for more vlogs, more stuff. Once we're done with surgery rotation and once Shaman's more acclimated uh, to clinical rotations, we'll be back on that grind posting, but you know, bear with us guys. So as always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell and do all that stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.